Hello and welcome to my channel Study with Pradipto. So today in this video I will attempt quiz 1 of the lecture 1 of the course Geodata Processing using Python and Machine Learning. So after coming to this e-class portal you will see that uh, the quiz is there and you have to attempt the quiz before the deadline. So first you have to click this uh, lecture 1. Then uh, you will come into this page and uh, here you will see the option of attempt the quiz. So before attempting the quiz, you have to know that uh, only allowed attempt is one. That means you can attempt the quiz for one time. After submitting the answers, you can't change any answers. And the uh, quiz will be closed on Sunday, 2nd March 2025. So this is the deadline. Uh, now you have to click this attempt quiz option. Now click this. Now a prompt will open in front of you. All the instructions are uh, written there that your attempt will have a time limit of 5 minutes. When you start, the timer will begin to count down and cannot be paused. You must uh, finish your attempt before it expires. Are you sure you wish to start now? So uh, after it, uh, after you read it, you have to click this start attempt. Now this is the first question. You will find there in the quiz that what does GIS stands for? This is the question number one. Now uh, the option A is geospatial integration software, option B is geographic information system, option C is generalized information science and option D is global information system. So option B will be your answer that geographic information system. So after that you have to click this next page. Now what is the GPS used for? This is the second question you will find in this quiz. Uh, now, uh, option A is analyzing weather patterns. Option B is determining precise location on Earth. So that will be your answer. Determining precise location on Earth. Now, after that, you click this next. Now, uh, question number three, what is remote sensing? Now, option A, capturing images with regular cameras. Option B, a method of ground-based measurement. Option C using satellites for internet services and option D is collecting data without direct contact with the object. So option D will be your answer. What is remote sense? It is collecting data without direct contact with the object. Now after that you have to click this next page. Now uh, this is question number 4 that which of the following is an example of vector data. Now option A is a digital elevation model, option B is a road um, uh, network map and option C is a satellite image and option D is a scanned paper map. So option B will be your answer, a road network map. Now you have to click this next page. Now in question number 5, you will find that which type of data does GIS use? Only vector data, only numerical data, both raster and vector data and only raster data. So option C will be your answer that is both raster and vector data. Now you click this finish attempt. Now after that you will be redirected to the to this page. Now uh, scroll down below you will find that the summary of your previous attempt. I made the correct answers of all the five questions. So here uh, five out of five is written. Uh, so uh, here you see that no more attempts are allowed. Okay. So if you um, get less marks than this, then you can't attempt again. Uh, so after that, one thing you have to do that uh, here you see that mark as done option. So click this mark as done option after you attempt the quiz. Now it will be uh, converted to done. Now that's all from this video. Please subscribe my channel if you get some help from this video. Thank you. We'll see you in the next video.